Poland refuses to play Russia in 2022 World Cup playoff game. Here's a summary of the article. Robert Lewandowski is Poland's captain and record goalscorer Polish Football Association President Cezary Kulaza has said the team does not intend to play the game. Bayern Munich striker Lewandowski, 33, who is his country's all-time highest goalscorer, added, I can't imagine playing a match with the Russian national team in a situation when armed aggression in Ukraine continues. Russian footballers and fans are not responsible for this, but we can't pretend that nothing is happening. Sweden are also in the playoffs where they will meet the Czech Republic. The winner of that tie could meet Russia for a place at the World Cup finals, which get underway in Qatar in November. Sweden and the Czech Republic said in a joint statement that playoff matches should not be played in Russia. Due to the escalation of the aggression of the Russian Federation towards Ukraine, the Polish national team does not intend to play the playoff match against Russia. This is the only right decision. We are in talks with the Sweden and Czech Republic to present a common position to FIFA. This post received a score of 74,000, with an upvote ratio of 95%. Here are the top comments in response to this article. Bayern Munich striker Lewandowski, 33, who is his country's all-time highest goalscorer, added, I can't imagine playing a match with the Russian national team in a situation when armed aggression in Ukraine continues. Russian footballers and fans are not responsible for this, but we can't pretend that nothing is happening. This should just be printed out and plastered all over the Russian team's rooms. They should be banned and boycotted in every way possible. I agree, but so should FIFA, but oh well. Reminder that a Mexican woman working for FIFA had to run away from Qatar after being condemned to being lashed for the crime of being raped. And that is someone that is working for FIFA. Let's see what happens when is a tourist or the wife of a player. Qatar offered her such a generous plea deal. If she would marry the man who assaulted her, all the charges she faced would be dropped. Note. True. Boycott Qatar 2022. 100%. I'm a huge football fan. But I've boycotted a World Cup before and I'll do it again. Agreed the blood of the thousands of workers who have died so far will be on the hands of FIFA and any player who profits from this. I lost almost all the respect I had for Xavi when he went to play and manage in Qatar. Polish football fans calling Russia whores today. R-U-S-K-A-K-U-R-W-A. The one thing that can unite all Polish ultras. To be fair, they say Kurwa in every other sentence. It's basically the Irish fuck. Ye but Legia and Viswa ultras chanting anything Togata is unimaginable. I never saw something like that before, and I'm Polish citizen and football fan. It's like Batman and Joker dancing Togata or SMTH. And they sign Ruska Kurva what's mean Russian, Putin I guess, or not Russian whores. I think last time they united when Pope died back in 2005. Yeah and it was first Polish Pope so you see how big thing must happen to something like that happened. And if I'm not wrong in Euro 2012 Polish ultras were united against, what a surprise, Russian ultras in battle on some bridge in Warsaw. But it was definitely negative situation. Also note that JP2 is seen as having a major hand in freeing Poland from the USSR and aiding the fall of the Warsaw Pact. There is a lot of love for JP2 among Poles in Poland and around the world. Hell if I'm buying kielbasa and I don't see a picture of him I look elsewhere. Source. Polish American. Russia should be banned from all international sports. Play war games, lose ability to join society. Period. Not to mention they just would not stop doping their athletes for some reason. This video was automatically created by Reddit to speech. The article and comments in this video were selected from Reddit according to their upvotes, and any paraphrasing was performed by smmry.com, without any human intervention.